Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now we have a member request here in Iron Bundle. I can't believe we've not done this before, but we're going with the water type terror. Unfortunately, it has very little, well, no setup. So we've gone with a supporting build here with the held item left of Dovers, which you can get from the Cascarafa Deli Bro Shop, which uh, restores 6.25% of our health at the end of every single turn. Max EVs in defense and special defense has some great defense as Pokemon. But special defense is a bit low, so we've gone with the calm nature, which is up in special defense, down in attack, and then we'll max it IVs and everything except attack. Do special attack just because you have a decent special attack just without um, training it in EVs, so you might do a little bit of damage. We have the ability quart drive in case there's other Pokemon with electric terrain, <clears throat> and that will boost our defense because it boosts the most efficient stat by 30%. Then we have Chilling Water, 50 power, 100 accuracy. That's why I said we could do a little bit of damage because if there's an Acid Sprayer and you're using this, you, you'll do a little bit of damage and you'll also lower the target's attack. Snowscape and Aurora Veil is a very nice combo. It's one of my favorite combos on the game. So, uh, so you'll activate Snowscape, increasing the defense of Ice types by 50%, and then you'll use Aurora Veil, which increases the defense and special defense of your entire team for five turns. So that's really strong. And then helping hand in case someone's doing a lot of damage and you want to help them out with that. Or you're against a special attacker, your Snowscape and Aurora Veil is already up. And you don't really have a point in using Chilling Water because it's a special attacker. And the only other thing you can really do is help out your team with helping hand. So there is that as well. We're just going to find a random raid and then we're going to get straight into it. Okay, we have an Alolan Ninetales, which does have the uh, snow, uh, that ability that makes it snow for five turns. That's interesting, so both teams will have a raw veil up after I use it. So we're going to let anyone join. We are online, yes, okay. And we'll be back when we have three other people. Okay, so we have a Charizard, we have an Ogre Pond, the fire type one. And we have a Ninetales. Honestly, I kind of find it kind of funny how normal Ninetales in this situation will just destroy a Lolan. Let's begin, see what yours. Okay, so nine, Ninetales is Drought Activate, so it's sunny, but Ninetales is... Snow warning activate, so now it's snow. That felt weird to say. An Aurora Veil, turn zero. That combination, this Pokemon is just really annoying to play against because of the combination of it not using a move, but it making it snow and then using Aurora Veil before the raid even begins. I used Aurora Veil before the Ninetales could put Sunny Day back up, and even if the snow goes, we'll still have that boost from our defenses and special defenses. I'll show you that in a second. As you can see, it doesn't go away even though the snow has gone, so that's good. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to help in hand the Ogre Pond. Because it looks like Ogre Pond's doing a, a nice little bit of damage here. I don't think it'd be... Oh, Ogre Pond's nearly dead. I don't think it'll be like useful putting Snowscape up and trying to overwrite it. But just no point. Okay, <clears throat> Ogre Pond went down. We'd already used help in hand on the Ogre Pond, so there's nothing we could really do about that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use an attacking chair. <clears throat> what type is the... Uh, what moves does it have? Moonblast, and it's a nice type. Oh, yes, it's a nice type. Is that Ogre Pond? No, that's a fire type Ogre Pond. Never mind. I'm tripping. Nine Tails using Nasty Plot. I'm going to help in hand the Nine Tails, because its next attack could be really strong. Because <clears throat> it... <coughs> Excuse me. It used the uh, fake tears and then it used nasty plot, so it might be warming up for like a huge attack. Someone does is that someone healing? Probably. Okay, someone specialized. Wow. Nine tails weather bill. Weather bill? Weather ball. Okay. Right, I'm gonna actually do I heal cheer here to keep the turn that alive? Um yeah, I'm gonna heal cheer. I was debating either heal chair, keep the chair that alive, or helping hand in the ogre pond, because it is terrestrialized and it would do a decent amount of damage. We'll just keep the chair that alive for now. Okay, there's another thing. Oh wait, what? Fake tears? The shields up. Did uh, did the nine tails not get the memo? Oh well. But so we get hit with a moon blast. It's not done that much. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> we get a bit of health back because of our what do you call it? The leftovers. Was that a snowscape from nine Alola Nine Tails? It was, so now we're gonna use Aurora Veil again. There we go. 
Oh, it failed. It was just uh, you used it just after the Nine Tails put Sanjay out. Unfortunately, this was a really bad raid for us to be using a Rarivale because there's a weather Pokemon on our team. But you can't get around that. Use Helping Hand while the Nine Tails finishes off the job. There we go. Half the time remaining. Not too bad. Maybe we can show off the iron bundles like what it can actually do to support the team a bit more in the second raid. Hopefully there's not a, uh, someone that like constantly puts the weather up on our team. Let's begin. I mean, let's begin. Let's move on to the second raid. Okay, looks like it's going to be a six star poison type Yan Mega this time. Still not a physical attacker, so that's unfortunate. Let's uh, challenge as a group and let anyone join. It's unfortunate that we didn't get a physical attacker because we excel against physical attackers. But we move on. Let's... Uh, be right back when we get three people. Okay, it looks like we have two Incinerars and a Iron Treads. That's kind of uh, kind of spun me. Uh, let's begin, see how it goes. Okay, so the Intimidate activates on both of the Incinerars, decreasing its attack by two stages. I'm going to put the Snowscape up straight away. Hopefully no one's got Sunny Day. <coughs> okay, Bulk Up, Earthquake, and Flare Blitz. Oh, this, this is not going to go well. I can I can see this raid ending in tears. Okay, <clears throat> the ancient power. Um, that's not going to do too much to lighting tread. Is it going to boost Alex's stat? It is not. Okay, so now that the snow scapes up, we're going to put Aurora Rail up as soon as possible. Because we'll probably need it in this raid. Everyone's just taking a ridiculous amount of damage. <clears throat> yeah, I could tell before we went into this raid it wasn't going to go well. And now that we're in the raid, my suspicions. I confirmed. So I guess we just uh, watch it as the everyone goes down. We'll try and keep them alive. Like we fight till the end. But I don't think it's going to go too well. We use a heal cheer. To oh, we get quite a big heal actually. We get like half the life. No one's got set up it seems. Wait, one of the incinerars did use bulk at one point. So one of them has set up. But he's not really super effective against a, a poison type Yam Mega. If he's running a that type or fire type. So I wonder where this is going to go. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just use another. No. I used Hang Tough by accident, but we could do with the extra defense, so it doesn't matter too much. Let's see what happens. We got a Terrestrialize. Okay, let's, uh, everyone's taking less damage, so it is decent either way. Get a Darkest Lariat. Someone else is terrestrializing. And now we're going to heal because someone is in orange. But that was my last heal, so there's not much else I can do. Uh, do we get a good heal at least? If we don't, we get a small one. But hopefully that gives us a couple of turns to catch up. Let's see how this goes. So the Iron Tread is probably going to be where the damage is going to come from. Yeah, it's a bug buzz. We don't take too much damage from it. Darkest Lariat. Yeah, I can see uh, this going downhill very quick now that we've got no heal chairs left. Oh, someone else is using heal chairs. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to use Snowscape. We'll set we'll set the um, set the Aurora Veil back up. I'll try to at least. And that way we can try and keep them alive as long as possible. Let's see what happens. Is anyone going to use a heal chair this time? Hopefully. Okay, so Iron Treads is still up. It's got a tiny bit of health left though. Steel Stone Charge, that's fine. I'm going to use a Rory Rail here. <clears throat> that will increase our defense and special defense uh, by a little bit. Yeah, I didn't think it would make much of a difference when you when the Iron Treads was at that low health though. I'm guessing the Incineroar goes down next. That's on low health. Honestly, this uh, this raid surprised me. And not in a good way. Okay, so the shield's gone up, so I guess it's just downhill from here. Shall I just start attacking? I just switch to attacking mode. Boom. There we go. Look at all that damage. Absolutely none. Yep, Incineroar's next. Incineroar goes down. Either us or Incineroar are going to be next after this. Probably the Incineroar. But everyone is down at the minute. We're just going to use some chilling waters. Even though it doesn't really make a difference because it's a special attacker, but the raid was pretty much a lost card after the first few turns. Okay, a buzz. Okay, let's put me down to 40 health. 
And so now I use a fire punch. Not do anything. It burns it. Won't really do anything though. Uh, just keep using chilly water, I guess. Boom. Oh, the Incineroar is using Iron Head. I think the Incineroar knows that it's over as well. Air Slash, we survive. We will not go down in this raid. Did, uh, did the raid end? Earthquake. We're gonna go down in this raid, aren't we? No. Okay, do we get. Oh, there was a heal. It released the energy. We didn't go down. But we did get taken out. So that's unfortunate. I don't think we was ever winning that raid with that uh, like sequence of Pokemon then. That was crazy. But sometimes it happens. I think what caught me off guard the most is that there wasn't just one Incineroar, there was two, even though it's a bit of a strange pick against the Poison type uh, raid. So that, that, I think that's what threw me the most. But it is a decent support, it increases defenses, special defenses can lower our opponent's attack and increase our allies damage with helping hand you know it's pretty good it can survive a good hit as well got some decent special attack in case you want a couple of chilling waters to do a little bit of damage along with an acid spray user <clears throat> whatever you like it it's a decent pokemon just not for like attacking because it's got no setup in my opinion let me know if you do use it as an attacker though and let me know what you go with <clears throat> i'm gonna put the last build that we did on screen right now Subscribe if you don't want to miss any more builds like this and I'll catch you on the next one.